Hello again, everybody. I'm Cindy Williams. And I'm Rob Caldwell in for Pat Callahan. As schools across Maine continue to make plans to reopen, keep kids at home, or a combination of the two, some schools are facing a different kind of problem. Many of their students won't be able to come back to class at all because they live in other countries. News Center Maine's Don Kerrigan has that story. Lincoln Academy is almost ready for what will surely be a very different kind of school year. Classes like this will have far fewer desks and chairs for social distancing. Some students will take their classes at home. The complexity of this situation is incredible. But some students who were here last year won't be coming at all. Like many of Maine's private schools and town academies, public schools that also take the local kids, Lincoln has been taking foreign students for a number of years. They bring diversity and also money. Families pay tens of thousands of dollars each year for tuition, room, and board. But because of the coronavirus, many of those students just aren't coming. Uh, last year we were uh, just over 40. And how many do you think this year? I'm hoping we're going to get to be around 20 to 24 Yeah, by the time we get everybody here. And head of school Jeff Burroughs says slow. about half of those students are already here in the dorm, coming several weeks early to make sure there's enough time to properly quarantine. Most of them are here. We have a couple that are gonna still be arriving. And then, uh, as, as is true with other boarding schools, there are a number of students who are caught in, um, in some of the, um, well, they can't get here because of restrictions on travel. Lincoln is losing a lot of revenue as a result, and it's not alone. The Independent Association of Private Schools for Northern New England says there are 18 main high schools that take foreign students and nearly all are seeing a drop in enrollment. With our um, boarding school, our town academies and our, and our boarding schools, we're talking about um, between 20 and 100 um, students. And those numbers um, for this coming year, the in-person instruction has been reduced by about a fifth, I would say. Eliza Alexander is director of the association. They've really had to dip into their reserves um, and also, again, like I said before, one thing that our schools are very expert at is being resourceful and creative um, with their finances. The loss of tuition income will be felt more at some schools than others, depending upon the numbers. But it also comes at a time when all the schools are facing a tremendous amount of extra expense to prepare for the pandemic. Jeff Burroughs says at Lincoln Academy, it's in the six-figure range. We'll cut costs where we can without uh, sacrificing the program and the quality. And when it comes to the numbers of international students, Jeff Burroughs here at Lincoln Academy says the COVID-19 impact will not be just a one-year thing because they can't go on overseas recruiting trips and build those relationships. He says it may take years for that foreign student program to fully recover. In Newcastle, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine. There is some good news, though, at Lincoln Academy. They say the number of Maine students is increasing, and they expect to have more than 500 students enrolled this year, meaning the school will be full. 